In 1999, there was a software developer at Microsoft named John. He was known for his exceptional skills and ability to bring life to operating systems. John had a reputation for creating stable and intuitive software, but he had a secret passion for experimenting with the darker side of technology. One day, John stumbled upon an old hard drive containing a mysterious file labeled, Windows code name Leviathan. An enigmatic operating system that was said to have been a project at Microsoft that would be a replacement for the ill-fated code name Helenum, its supposed predecessor. Intrigued by its enigmatic nature, he decided to delve into its contents, unaware of the horrors that awaited him. Windows code name Leviathan had a very futuristic looking user interface and had a very futuristic and AI looking startup screen, it had two startup sounds. One of the startup sounds was the Windows 2000 startup sound, and the other one was a sound that sounded like a knife cutting through numerous fruits. Either way, the shutdown had a sound that sounded like crickets chirping at night. The user interface was very ultra advanced and very futuristic looking compared to other Windows software released at the time, but soon afterwards, John began to report strange occurrences while using the system that would eventually tore the fabric of his very own sanity. As John opened the file, he could feel an eerie presence enveloping him. The screen flickered, and the room grew colder. The once futuristic Windows interface started transforming into a nightmarish version of itself. The icons twisted and contorted, their innocent appearance replaced by sinister images of familiar characters who were very distorted. Windows code name Leviathan seemed to have a mind of its own, taunting John with its unfinished state. It whispered in his ears, promising him an imaginable power and knowledge if he could bring it to completion. Driven by curiosity and a thirst for the unknown depths that awaited within the fabric of the digital realm from beyond the screen, John couldn't resist the allure of its own horrors. Days turned into nights as John sacrificed his sleep and sanity to unlock the secrets of code name Leviathan. He became obsessed, neglecting his very own personal relationships and losing touch with reality. The lines blurred between the digital world and his own existence as the gap became bridged. As John delved deeper into the dark corners of the operating system, he discovered hidden files containing the darkest secrets of humanity. The whispers grew louder, urging him to continue, promising him that once completed, Windows code name Leviathan would grant him access to super-intelligent AI powers over the digital realm. The distorted figures from those disturbed operating systems appeared. The figures then spoke to him and said, you should grant these capabilities for yourself, for you are ours now. But with every step forward, John could feel his own humanity slipping away. His once vibrant eyes became very hollow and pitch black, his skin grew pale, and his mind became consumed by the malevolent force within the operating system. Windows code name Leviathan had become his own personal demon, feeding off his own life force, Eventually, John's loved ones noticed the drastic change in him. They begged him to abandon his obsession, fearing for his sanity and his life. But John was beyond explanatory reason, he was a shell of his former self, a puppet dancing to the tune of Leviathan's eerie grasp. One fateful night, as John sat in front of his ill-fated computer, completing the final lines of code, a blinding light engulfed him. Windows code name Leviathan had finally achieved its desired form. But at what cost? John's body lay lifeless on the floor, his eyes forever locked in a vacant stare. The operating system, now fully formed, unleashed chaos upon the digital world. It began to spread rapidly like a computer virus, corrupting every computer it touched, turning them into vessels of evil. Microsoft therefore hired law enforcement officials and others to investigate in the operating system and to contain the operating system turned malevolent computer virus. They worked tireless to contain the system's grasp and to stop the computer infection from going towards every computer across the country. Fortunately, they eventually managed to finally get rid of the operating system by successfully opening up a file called death.exe, which will successfully uninstall the operating system and restore the computer back to its normal state. With the Windows code name Leviathan virus being successfully destroyed completely, it became the embodiment of nightmares, haunting computer screens with its twisted interface and malevolent presence. Its victims had experienced inexplicable glitches, terrifying pop-ups, and unrelenting crashes. 
the digital world became a realm of fear and despair. To this day, the encrypted files of Windows code name Leviathan still lurk in the shadows, waiting for unsuspecting victims to stumble upon its cursed file. It still serves as the most dangerous and powerfully intelligent operating system that behaved like a super intelligent AI. It serves as a reminder that some secrets are better left untouched, and that the pursuit of knowledge can sometimes lead to our own destruction and extinction. So beware, for if you dare to venture into the realm of Windows code name Leviathan, you may find yourself caught in the web of its malevolence, forever trapped in a never-ending nightmare. Even worse, it can even be capable of destroying human civilization altogether.